YouTube Laughing Pikachu here. Welcome back to another Pokemon News Update video. And in today's video, there's a lot of stuff to talk about. The first thing I want to talk about are the tins, the Magirna EX10, Pikachu EX10, and Volcanion EX10. I will pull them up on screen right now because they're just so pretty. And I'll make sure that the Pikachu one is nice front and center because it's just, it's so pretty. But anyways, the reason I'm talking about these, the official release date for these, I believe, were sometime in October. I believe it was October 12th. Um, but I want to let you guys know that they have been spotted at Walmart. So if you are looking to try and pick these up early, Walmart is the place to check out. I'm assuming Target will also be getting them soon um, but I know for a fact that it has been confirmed that they have been spotted at Walmart um, so yeah you never know go check out your local Walmart and you might be lucky and you might find them you never know um, but I want to take a quick minute and just look at the promo cards um, so I believe the McGurn EX as well as the Volcanion EX are um, actual like reprints from the set they have the exact same attacks they just have different artworks um, and so with that being said um, I think Volcanion EX is going to be quite a valuable promo card because the Volcanion EX from the set is already quite a pricey card. I'm not too sure about the Magirna. I don't believe it's that pricey, so I don't think that this promo will be super valuable. I also want to take a minute and talk about Pikachu EX. A lot of people, um, when they announced that the Pikachu EX 10 would be releasing, a lot of people assumed that it would be a reprint of the one that we saw that we saw in the Pikachu EX boxes. Um, not the red and blue collection boxes, but the EX, the Pikachu EX box with the five like full art promo cards that was released quite a while back alongside the Hoopa EX box. Um, but it is in fact a different promo card. Um, a lot of people, you know, didn't know what type of attacks Pikachu would get because when we first saw these tins were releasing, we just saw a picture like this and we didn't see the attacks. Um, so he I just want to take a minute and let you guys know that this does have a different attack than the Pikachu EX that was found in those Pikachu EX boxes. Um, and so the Pikachu promo card from the Pikachu EX box was very, very pricey. I think it retailed for like $15 at one point, um, which is very expensive for a promo card. And the main reason that happened was because it was such a playable card. Um, so if you pick up a Pikachu EX10, you know, obviously, it's still an awesome card. Definitely go pick it up. I think it looks fantastic. But don't pick it up expecting it to be worth as much as those old promo cards because it's, it's just, it's not. It's It has different attacks. So, just want to point that out. Um, but yeah, these look fantastic. I... Hopefully, I, my Walmart will have them. I don't know. We will We will see. If you see a video tomorrow of me opening these tins, then obviously I found them. I um, also want to take a minute and just talk about evolutions. Uh, so, I don't know how many of you guys have been watching my channel, but on Tuesday, I believe it was, um, I posted the CP6 booster box, which is the Japanese evolutions equivalent of the set. Um, and now we're finally getting some English leaks of, of some of the cards. So, obviously, we knew that like Mewtwo EX and the Ninetales Breaks and all those cards were going to be in this set. But this is the first time we're actually seeing... English cards um, before we had only seen the Japanese translations so this is actually quite an exciting moment for me and they just look fantastic so over the next month we will definitely be seeing a lot more of these and I just want to say that the Charizard Hollow that was uh, found in the Japanese set they just did such a fantastic job with it so I just I can't wait to see what the English one will look like I'm assuming it will look fantastic as well but anyways I uh, just want to take a minute and talk about that and speaking of evolutions I want to talk about some products that they have announced so um, we discussed these blisters in a previous episode um, but I just want to take a quick minute and remind you of them um, but yeah we're gonna be getting a breaks in blister as well as a black curum blister um, but the new thing that we have we knew that these were going to be releasing but this is the first time we're actually seeing like pictures of them but we we will in fact be getting two different elite trainer boxes a Charizard one and a Blastoise one and guys I'm kind of disappointed about this because I mean seriously no no Venusaur one like I feel like they just they always do this like with generations they released a Zapdos and they released an Articuno full art but they didn't release a Moltres full art and now they're releasing a Charizard elite trainer box and a Blastoise elite trainer box but not a Venusaur one so I'm not gonna lie guys I'm kind of disappointed about this I would love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments um are, does this sort of offend you guys um I'm not even like like a huge Venusaur fan, but I feel like they're just they're selling these products because they know that like Charizard and Blastoise is more popular, and I feel like that's just so wrong. Like they should give each Pokemon equal opportunities. And gosh, this is sounding like I'm trying to do some government and like democratic government and whatever. That's not the point of this video, but th the point is I I feel like they should have made a Venusaur one, and I'm kind of mad that they didn't. But anyways, moving on. Um. 
These are going to be like standard Elite Trainer boxes. You get the eight packs, you get the dividers, you get the sleeves, you get the the, the, the damage counters and the poison and burn markers. And you also get um, energy cards, and the energy cards are going to look really cool. You can kind of see them in the picture, but they're a little bit different than the typical energy cards. They look like the energy cards from base set. The whole design of them are a little bit different. Um, typically, energy cards are just like, you just see this part. You don't see the whole like text right there. Um, and so that sort of makes it resemble the older style of energy cards, which is very, very interesting. Um, I'm not entirely really sure. I don't think they're going to be hollow or anything like that, but still, they're they're very interesting, very cool looking. Um, and yeah, overall, I'm just very excited. Uh, this is it's been a while since they have released like two elite trainer boxes for one set. I think the last time they did that was for Primal Clash when they released the Kyogre and the um, the Kyogre and the Groudon, and then the time before that they released it with the X and Y base set. So they don't do this very often. So I'm very excited about that. And again, here's a look at the the pack arts. But anyways, I feel like we've talked about this for way too long. But these are going to be forty dollars. Um, and yeah, they will be releasing once. Every Evolutions officially releases, which I believe is like November this November second. Really? No, no way. I feel like yeah. Is it November second? I don't know. Anyways, it's releasing soon, which is very exciting. Also, um, I talked about this in a previous video, but this is the first time we're seeing pictures of it, so I just want to take a mi quick minute and show them off. So we are going to be getting a Charizard EX box, a Dragonite EX box, a Mewtwo EX box, which looks very very interesting. As well as a Kangaskhan EX box and a Gengar EX box. Now, I'm not going to lie, this was actually a little bit surprising when I saw these pictures. I assumed, uh, when I first read about these, that these were going to be similar to the red and blue collection boxes with, like, Generations packs and stuff like that. Because when Pokemon initially announced that they were releasing these, that's what they made it sound like. But, in fact, it's not. This is more similar to, like, the old Charizard EX boxes or Garchomp EX boxes, Rayquaza EX boxes, that sort of thing. Um, so we're going to be getting four different packs from four different sets. Um, Fates Collide, uh, Breakpoint, Ancient Origins, and Steam Siege. And I'm very surprised that they aren't going to be releasing, like, Evolutions with this. I believe these do release before Evolutions, though. Um, so so that might be the reason why. Um, yeah, you get a jumbo promo card as well as a regular size promo card. And an interesting thing to point out is this Mewtwo EX, um, I believe, um, so they released a Mewtwo EX tin and it had, um, so like in Japan, they released two Mewtwo EX promos. Um, but in English, for the longest time, we only saw one of those promos that was released as a tin promo. So I believe this Mewtwo EX is actually the other Japanese promo card that we never end up, ended up seeing in a tin. So I think that's what that is. Um, yeah, this Gengar is like a direct reprint of the one that was found in Phantom Forces. The Dragonite is a direct reprint of the one found in, uh, Furious Fists, I believe. And then the Charizard is a reprint of the one from Flashfire, and the same thing for the Kangaskhan. So I think that's what it is, and I believe this Mewtwo has the same attacks, it's just a different artwork. Um, so anyways, there's that. So very cool. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for those. They should be fun to open. I'm kind of disappointed that they weren't red and blue collection boxes. And I'm also kind of disappointed that they didn't give us new artwork. I feel like if they're going to release a box that's literally a reprint with the exact same attacks, at least give us new artwork. That's what they did with the tins, right? They gave us new, like, Volcanion artworks and stuff like that. I'm trying to find them. Be like, for example, for the Volcanion, it's a reprint, but they, at least they give us new artwork. But anyways, I, I've digressed. There's that. Um, also, we've got new theme decks, um, which look very... Very, very cool. Uh, they're supposed to resemble the, like, old, original, like, theme decks, um, that was released back in the day when, you know, Pokemon, like, the base set and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, so we have a Mew one as well as a Pikachu one. I'm assuming these will be hollow foil cards, um, which is a little bit disappointed because the Mewtwo was actually originally a hollow card in the Japanese set, so I guess that means that Mewtwo will be a regular rare card, and it will, you, the only way you can get the Mewtwo hollow in English is if you buy the theme deck. Personally, I don't like when they do that. I feel like they should just make a completely new card, a hollow card, um, but anyways, it is what it is, they've always been doing that, so it's, I don't think they're going to be changing that anytime soon. Also, Sun and Moon, there's a lot of new Pokemon, a lot of really interesting looking Pokemon, such as this one right here. What is this? I don't know, it looks weird. Um, we also have this one, which looks so cool, I love this. I love these new dog type Pokemons, like, they just, they look so cool. Um, I, I just, I can't wait to see these as, like, EX cards, I just, I really, I am really, really hyped for that. Um, yeah, lots of, lots of cool stuff. And they also released a little trailer, so if you want to see that, you can check it out on the Pokemon um, YouTube channel. Um, but yeah, just for copyright reasons, I'm not going to be playing that in this video. Um, also, they have, um, oh, first of all, quick correction. 
in last week's video, um, I called this guy Ash. It is not he is not Ash. He is Red. I apologize for the mistake. Thank you for the people who who corrected me. Um, I don't know much about the anime to be honest. Um, so yes, I did make a mistake, and I apologize for that. Um, but yeah. So they have a they have released the first two episodes of Generations, which is very cool. So if you guys want to go watch them, feel free to go do so. It looks very very nice. Um, so I know that a lot of the hype right now is for Evolutions and the new the new set, but uh, I do want to take a quick minute and just acknowledge the next set uh, i know i know it sounds like it's gonna be ages away but it's actually quite like it's coming up it's it's coming up and it's very exciting um so the new sun and moon set is going to be so cool and the main reason i want i'm bringing this up right now is because they have actually released our very first alolan style card this is the alolan meowth i'm sorry that's so blurry it's just that's the way it is um because these are like obviously like scans and like leaks and not like official things published by pokemon or whatever so that's why it's so blurry but anyway we have seen, we have spotted an Alolan Meowth as a Pokemon card, so I just, I can't wait. I'm looking forward to the Alolan Executor. That's the card that I want to see. I'm also, like, another example of a Sun and Moon Pokemon getting an, uh, getting, like, an actual card is this Grubbin here. Grubbin is a new Pokemon that we, um, have seen from Sun and Moon. Um, so yeah, I'm just, it's getting me so excited to just see what happens. Um, Sun and Moon releases at the end of November. I believe it's November the 23rd. Um, and so yeah, the TCG set is going to be releasing shortly after. And here's a look at the, um, this like promo blister pack that they have. Um, so there's going to be four different holo cards and all the different starters are going to be getting hollows. Um, so that's very exciting. So lots of cool stuff coming our way regarding the Sun and Moon set. So that's very cool. Um, in total, this set is going to be 120 cards for the Japanese set, which is very large for Japanese sets. Um, so yeah, that's that, and then, um, I talked about this earlier, but again, episodes 1 and 2 have been released, um, so yeah, uh, of the, episodes 1 and 2 of the new Pokemon Generations is, has been released, um, so yeah, that's pretty cool, um, and yeah, that's it, now we're gonna get into shoutouts, if you would like a shoutout, all you have to do, like, subscribe, comment, that's it, um, and yeah, the first person I wanna shout out is a person who watches the videos regularly, he doesn't really post videos, but I think I just wanted to take a minute and say thank you to Jay Strat for watching my videos, I really do appreciate it. The next person, this person does post videos. Looks like he posts a lot of like Minecraft videos. So if you're into gaming and stuff like that, definitely go check him out. But his name is King Tuffin Flips, M L G L O L. Hopefully I said that right. Um, but yeah, links to these people's channels will be in the description below. And the final person I want to give a shout out to is that one guy again. It looks like he has quite a few like uh, Pokemon videos as well as some Pokemon Go videos. Um, I know I haven't been doing quite a bit of Pokemon Go coverage on the channel, so if you're looking to find some Pokemon Go content, maybe go check out his channel. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like and let me know what do you guys think of this 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 where? Let me find it. I got it. I gotta just pull these up again. The new Elite Trainer Boxes, what do you think? What do you think of Venusaur not getting one? Just, just saying, like, I feel like it's unfair. But anyways, that's gonna be it. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you're excited for all this new stuff coming your way. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Don't ever be ashamed to be you, because you are your own type of beautiful. Bye, guys!